Hey, I got a sample of M&M uh, candies, and this is a collection of two isotopes. We've got the peanut isotope, so the heavy isotope, and a light isotope, the regular M&M. And they differ by mass. They're both M&Ms, but they just differ by, by their mass. Uh, and so we're going to measure the, the relative atomic mass. Okay, it's a weighted average of, of the isotope's mass. And we're going to use our scale. So this is the same kind of scale setup that you guys had um, a couple weeks ago. And so I'm going to measure the mass of the heavy isotope uh, in paper clips and the light isotope in paper clips. So you can see. And I'll go through the calculations with you here. And then Mr. England and I are going to give you another sample set of data. But we'd, we'd prefer if you guys could come up with your own set of isotopes. Say that's close to balanced. Okay. So here you go. Here's, I'm going to pick kind of an average peanut M&M. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll say six and a half. Okay. Six point five paper clips. I'll do the count in a little bit. You can maybe see that there's not as many peanut M and M's as there are regular M and M's. So it's going to have a lower percent abundance. But we'll calculate those. Let's get a regular M and M. Close. All right. So here you go. Regular M and M. One. Two. Three. Here I better get. Two, three. Let's just round that one. It's it's closer to three than two and a half. So just to make it a little easier, we'll say that the regular one weighs three paper clips. Okay, so these are their masses. And to calculate the relative atomic mass, I also need to get the percentage of each isotope. So if I do a quick count, this would be like a scientist sampling the element to kind of figure out how much of each isotope is present. There's uh, oops, I gotta get this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Peanut. Oh, you wanna write? I'll write for you. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27. 27? Yeah, what's the total? That's total is 33. All right. So then to change them to percentages, we're just gonna divide each one by the total. So six divided by 33 times 100, times 100 to change it to a percent is 18, let's say 18.2%. Okay. And then we'll take 27 divided by 33, which should be the leftover out of 100%. So 27 divided by 33 is 81.8. Okay, and then maybe, do we have enough room down here to do our relative atomic mass? Maybe Mr. England can multiply. So okay. what we're going to do, we're going to take the mass, and we're going to multiply it by the percentage for each isotope. So mass times percent, but we're going to use the decimal form. So we move the decimal place twice, multiply, Multiply and then add them together and that'll give us our relative atomic mass. So 182 mm -hmm. times 6.5 mm -hmm. and 0.8 times 3. 0.182 times 6.5. Okay, that comes out to 1.18. 1.18. Okay, and 0.812 times three paper clips. No, 0.818. Oh, 0.818. 0.818 times three paper clips mm -hmm. is 2.5, or let's say 2.45. Okay, 2.45 paper clips. So then to find the relative atomic mass, we add those up. So 2.45, oh my goodness, I don't like this calculator. 2.45 plus. 1.18, you got 
the old fashioned way. There you go. So here, let's see if you guys, 3.63 paper clips would be the average mass, okay, of an individual particle on here. So we had 33 or 33 MNMs. Some were heavy, some were light. Okay, some weighed six and a half paper clips, others weighed just three. But the average of all of them comes out to just over, well, about 3.6 paper clips. And that's because, right, there's some heavy isotopes that kind of skew the average atomic mass. There's a lot of there's a lot of the little peanut or the regular M&Ms that keep the average close to three. So there you go. Um, we'll film an, or we'll take a little picture and give you some data for you to analyze if you can't do this, but be a good idea to try and find, maybe take some of your Christmas candy or something that you got around the house. Can you find two different isotopes? Or if you really want to challenge, find three isotopes and you can still do the average uh, atomic mass the same way. You just will multiply three things instead of two. So there you go.